look at me. I'm the station master. This hat means I'm the train conductor. But where's the train? I'll find it for you, Miss Chloe. Oh, dear. The train is miles from here. Maybe you should look through the other end, lovely carrot. What? Oh, yeah, right. I knew that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. May I look? Of course. I can see a train down in the valley, but it isn't moving. Something must be wrong with that train. Let's go and help. We can't help that train. It's too far away. Look. It is kind of far away, Chloe. And it's down a very steep hill. I know how we can get down there. How? how? A musical note? You can in my world. But <sighs> oh well. Here I go. <laughs> Was that fast or what? <laughs> Again! There's the train! He's heading up the hill! He doesn't need our help after all! Hooray! Go, 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 I wonder how long he's been trying. These cows don't look very happy. Cows never look happy. <coughs> We're going to help you get up that hill, Choo Choo. But first, you look a bit dusty and rusty. Let's get you cleaned up all nice and shiny. At your service, Miss Chloe. <laughs> now let's wash Choo Choo. Stoker, so I stoke the coal. Can I help? Sure. What do we do? Well, we, uh, uh... You feed the choo-choo. <coughs> These shovels are really heavy, Chloe. The shovels aren't heavy, silly. The coal is heavy. <coughs> I'll take a little off the top. <laughs> <laughs> now you're ready to start stoking. Here we go. Here we go. Fill the 
Fill him up, fill him up with lots of coal. With lots of coal! Choo Choo is full and ready to go. <laughs> strong enough to get up the hill. Or maybe his load is too heavy. Good thinking, Chloe. Let's make it lighter. We'll unhook the boulder car and come back for it later. <laughs> the load is still too heavy. Unhook the cattle car. That will make it lighter. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, ladies. We'll be back for you soon. Chloe? Let's see. I have this to look at your throat. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. This to listen to your heart. Quack, 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 quack. And this to look in your ears. Hmm. Sorry, no ears. <laughs> No worries. But I don't know where these go. He may not need those. But some toys do need batteries. Toys? Lollipops, is this a toy hospital? Uh-huh. If a toy needs mending, this is the place to come. Who's that? Ask politely, Mac. It's okay. I'm Mendy. I work here. Broken? Shh, Mac. <laughs> That's right, Mac. I am broken. My eye came off a long time ago, and no one has been able to find a new one to match my old one. Ooh, pretty eye. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, Mendy. I'm Dr. Chloe. This is Nurse Lil and Nurse Lovely Carrot. I nurse Mac. Phew, I'm glad you're all here. You have a patient waiting already. She's in room one. Come on, nurses. Let's go and see if we can help. Mama! Mama! Oh, look! A baby Mama. doll! Mama! 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 Dr. Chloe, Mama. make her stop! Mama! 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 Poor, Mama. poor Dolly. Mama! Dolly, love! Mama! I wish Mama. I did have ears so Mama. I could cover them. Mama! I see the problem. Mama! 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 <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> there. All better. Mama! You fixed her! Dolly get lollipop! Good idea, Mac. Should we give her a small one, a medium one, or a big one? Small Dolly, small lollipop. Who's our next patient, Mendy? Let's see. You have a patient waiting in room two. Is it very hard to read with only one eye? It was at first, but I'm used to it now. I hardly even think about it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Your next patient. Let's go, team. Whoa! 
Pony partner, on the lead. <laughs> right, horsey. Whee! Are you sick, Mr. Rocking Horse? I haven't got any spots, Doctor Chloe. Then you don't have the measles. <laughs> but I used to have spots, and I like having spots. My spots are beautiful. Horsey's still beautiful. <sighs> Flying feathers. Look at this. Spots, horsey. It looks like you just have a bad case of dusty titers, Mr. Rocking Horse. Can you fix it, Dr. Chloe? Of course. Nurse Lil, I need some buckets of water and some brushes. Nurse Lovely Carrot, I'm going to need your help. Wet the patient down. Now everyone scrub. Ah, that feels really good. Okay, Nurse Lovely Carrot, rinse off the patient. Horsey has spots. Hooray, I've been cured. <laughs> There's only one way to prevent dustititis from coming back. Give this to your little boy at home. It says he must ride you and brush you at least once a day. That will keep the dust away. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Big lollipop for Big Horsey. Dr Chloe, I'm glad you're here. What's wrong, Mendy? There's a bit of an emergency in room one. You need to see that patient right away. Thank you, Mendy. Let's go, team. I don't understand him. Excuse me, Dr Chloe. I speak duck. Of course. Ask him what's wrong, Nurse Lovely Carrot. <laughs> He's lost one of his wheels. <laughs> He's going to need an operation. Don't worry, young duck. This won't hurt. <gasps> Wheel. Wheel. Hammer. Hammer. Banana. Ba banana? I'm a little hungry. Is he going to be okay, Dr. Chloe? As good as new. Medium duck, medium lollipop. Well done, team. We fixed a lot of toys today. You were brilliant. But we didn't fix you, Mandy. I wish you could get a new eye. I'd like that. And maybe someday I will get a new eye. <laughs> but for now, I'm okay. Just the way I am. <laughs> we want to say thank you to Dr. Chloe and her great team of nurses. <laughs>
sorry. Should have used my own horn, eh? Beep, beep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Mike Monkey's the name. I just bumped into your friend up there. <laughs> this is Riley. And Tara. And my Chloe. And I'm Lovely Carrot. <laughs> Sorry. Don't know my own strength. May I ask you all a question? Have you seen any nuts around here? Besides me, that is. <laughs> I need to find some macadamia nuts. Would you like us to help you look, Mr. Mike? That would be grand, Miss Chloe. Macadamia nuts grow on macadamia trees. Way up there. How do we get up there? We'll take the stairs. But trees don't have stairs. They do in my world. Brilliant. Let's climb. We're going awfully high, Miss Chloe. Yes, we are, lovely carrot. <laughs> what are the nuts for, Mr Mike? I'm on a scavenger hunt. What's a scavenger hunt? Whoa! Well, it's a party game. Very fun, very fun. Everyone gets a list of things they must try to find. The first to find everything on the list wins. Y'all simply must come back to the party with me when the hunt is over. Ha, 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 ha. Woo, oh, whoa. We'd love to. Hooray! We will. That was a very, very long way up. Uh, I don't see any nuts up here. Hmm? Hmm. Seems the birds have collected them all. Excuse us, but could we have a few of your nuts, please? Okay, catch! Oh, I missed it! Uh, oh, these are hard to catch. Pickles, I dropped it. You're welcome, Miss Chloe. I need some coconuts. I wonder where you find coconuts. Up in trees! Ha! Of course, let's go back up. I'm not climbing up there again. It's okay. We'll find a coconut down here. Ah, uh, but you said they grow up in trees, Miss Chloe. That's where they grow. This is where they fall. X marks the spot. <laughs> Ha! Ah, excellent! Uh, uh. Now I have a coconut and some macadamias. Mmm, those will make great snacks for the party. I just need one more thing. What do you need? A piece of bamboo. Bamboo? Why? You can't eat bamboo. <laughs> no, no you can't. But we're not going to eat any of these things, Tara. What else would you do with coconuts and macadamia nuts? Well, ha! Let's find that bamboo! Does bamboo grow on trees, lovely carrot? It might. Or it might grow inside trees. Ugh, it's sticky in there. It's honey! Sweet, lovely carrot. <laughs> no bamboo up there. No bamboo down here. Hey! I found it! Behind this bush! Bamboo! Oh no! It has some holes in 
rose-in-it. <laughs> Couldn't be more perfect. You want it to have holes in it? Wouldn't want it any other way. Follow me! It's time to get this party started! <laughs> Hello! I have returned with my scavenger hunt band. Huh? I know. We're going to play music with all these things. Bravo, Miss Chloe. You guessed it. Now come stand here, everyone, and we'll play a tune. Come along and sing with the band, Tara. Those things aren't band instruments. Indeed they are. Just listen. Old Big Mac had a band, E-I-E-I-O. Need some cars. Here they come. This car is so beautiful and so purple. It must be for me. Is this great or what? <laughs> Hop in, Soggy. Seatbelts on. Helmets up. <laughs> Your world is great, Chloe. Uh, aren't you all a little young to be driving cars? Not in my world, lovely carrots. Look what Soggy found on his seat. It's a map with directions for the race. We found a map too. <laughs> Where's our map? We need a map. How can we race without a map? Here it is. <laughs> you were sitting on it. Swiss, so I'm probably going to win. I don't know, Chloe. These directions are hard to follow. I think the map is backwards, lovely carrot. Oh. <gasps> You're right. This is much easier to read. <laughs> Direct 
directions. She should be right behind us. Oh, uh, this forest is way too big to go around this way. <laughs> Chloe and Jed are going to be miles ahead. Let's go around the other way. Here we go under the pretty red arch, the pretty red arch, the pretty red arch. Here we go under the pretty red arch on a lovely summer morning. Here we go over the goldfish pond, the goldfish pond, the goldfish pond. Here we go over the goldfish pond on a lovely summer's morning. Here we turn right at the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we turn right at the mulberry bush on a lovely summer morning. at the end, Chloe. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's the finish line, Soggy. <laughs> but where's Tyler? Ah! Ah! A little warning next time. OK, Miss Chloe? <laughs> of course. I told you we could go around the trees, Wiz. <laughs> oh, no! is not on the map. Hmm, it's not fair. Look, there's the finishing line. We'll never get around the puddle in time. Unless we go through the puddle. <laughs> Oh, crumbs. came in third. Good race, Tara. It was fun. Mm, it was kind of fun, but next time I think I'll follow the directions. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> This? It's amazing! It's freezing! We could go inside a shop. Brilliant idea, Chloe! Mmm. Mm. I like it out here. <laughs> Something smells yummy. What is it? I don't know, but I see it coming from that shop. See it? You can't see a smell. You can in my world. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to my bakery! Oh no! Ah, oh! But, ah! Wow! Look out! Oh dear! 
<laughs> Junior? Oh. <laughs> that was fun! Ah! Junior, I am trying to bake here! Sorry, Daddy. I apologize, ladies. Uh, is your little duck friend uh, okay? Yes, thank you. I am afraid uh, Junior is a little wound up today. Uh, it is birthday and... Uh, 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 I am trying to make his birthday cake, uh, but he keeps getting on the foot. We could help you make the cake. We could? That's right. We're bakers. Oh, thank you. That would be grand. Why don't you two gather the ingredients while I see if I can get Junior to go down for his nap? Uh, this could take a while. First, we need sugar. Two of these cups full. This sugar is heavy. <laughs> One cup, two cups. There. Oh, I still have that song stuck in my head. <laughs> we need three cups of flour. <laughs> That's even heavier than the sugar of the carrot. Let's do it this way instead. One, two, three. <laughs> we have the sugar and flour. Excellent! Now we add milk and oil. We need to fill this four with milk and this one with oil. I can do that. Would you like to crack the eggs? Oh, yes. Pickles, the egg shell went in too. Uh, it just takes a little practice. Watch this. We are ready to stir it all up. If you're feeling really happy, stir some cake. Oh, no! I'm singing it again. Danny's had that song stuck in her head all day today. Well, at least it is a good song. Yes, it is. If you're feeling really happy, stir some cake. If you're feeling really happy and your hands go clappy, clappy, if you're feeling really some cake. Lollipops! This is not taking a nap, Junior. But I am not tired, Daddy. Besides, I heard the singing. Can I stay here and listen to the singing? Please? Oh, Junior. If you stay, I will never get this cake done. What am I to do? Excuse me, Mr. Chef. Yes? Maybe we could sing for Junior while you finish the cake. Mm-hmm. That is a brilliant idea, Chloe. Let's do it. Hooray! <laughs> Make some noise! Make some noise! If you're feeling really happy, 
you want a happy birthday, have some cake. Happy birthday! If you want a happy birthday, have some cake. Happy birthday! If you want a happy birthday, if you want a happy birthday, if you want a happy birthday, have some cake. Happy birthday! And everything. <laughs> we even get our own whistles. <gasps> <sighs> Brilliant. Excuse me, police officers. Someone needs our help. For any problem, big or small, Chloe's squad is on the ball. I hate to bother you, officers. But I have a bit of a problem. So tell us, what's wrong, sir? Every day for the last week, I've been locking my stand. Then going inside to take my nap. But when I wake and open the stand again, my bananas are missing. Your bananas aren't missing. I haven't taken my nap yet. Don't worry, Mr. Monkey. We'll look for clues and get to the bottom of this. For any problem, big or small, Chloe's squad is on the ball. If your little dog ran away, or if your bike was stolen, if you need some help right away, call a policeman. We are here to help you out. If you have a problem, count on us and have no doubt, call a policeman. Officer Chloe! Did you find out who's taking my bananas? I'm sorry, Mr. Monkey. Not yet. <sighs> I love bananas. I used to eat lots of them, but now I'm on a diet, so I only eat one a day. Here comes the rest of the squad. Maybe they saw something. I saw a dinosaur on roller skates. I didn't see anything. Let's talk to some customers. Maybe they've seen something. Excuse me, Mum. Yes? Do you shop at Mr Monkey's fruit stand? Why, yes. Look. <laughs> Have you noticed anything odd at the fruit stand lately, Mum? No, although Mr Monkey was a bit cranky when he started his diet. Huh? But now he's back to his jolly old self again. Thank you for your help, Mum. Ah, whatever it was, I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, only joking. What can I do for you, officer? It's about Mr. Monkey. Someone is stealing his bananas. What? Stealing bananas? Oh, this is indeed a sad day for monkeys everywhere. Must have just happened today, huh? What do you mean? Well, yesterday, I saw Mr. Monkey walking down the street eating two bananas, one in each hand. Good day, officer. Good day, sir. May I ask you some questions? <laughs> I'd be happy to answer your questions. Do you know who's been stealing Mr. Monkey's bananas? Don't know anything about it. Not a big fan of bananas. Unless they're frozen, of course. <laughs> I'm a wee bit miffed with Mr. Monkey, though. The other day I said hello to him, and he walked right past me. That doesn't sound like Mr. Monkey. For any problem, big or small, Chloe's squad is on the ball. Then you've solved the crime? Not yet, but we will. OK, squad. What did we find out? Everyone says Mr Monkey is nice. Not everyone. Mr Polar Bear said that he walked right past yesterday and didn't even say hello. And Mrs Flamingo said he's been a bit cranky from his diet because he only gets one banana a day. Really? I talked to a monkey who saw him yesterday with two bananas, one in each hand. Excuse me, officers, but it's time for my nap. <laughs> Would anyone care to join me? No. We should stay out here and keep an eye on things. Right then. Good luck. I think I know who's taking the bananas. We'll stay here and try to catch him in the act. You know who it is? Who is it? I don't want to blame anyone until I know for sure. 
Let's just keep watching and see what happens. Lovely carrot. You're welcome, Miss oh. Clay. <gasps> Someone's coming. It's Mr. Monkey. He's still asleep. Pickles. It's Mr. Monkey. <gasps> He's stealing his own bananas. <coughs> Never fear. I'll stop him. Him. Stand back. Ah, yeah, my goodness. Oh, what, what am I doing out here? You were sleepwalking, Mr. Monkey, and stealing your own bananas. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I can't believe it. It was me all the time. I was stealing my own bananas in my sleep. <laughs> How'd you know it was me, Chloe? First, you're the only one with a key to the stand. And you said that your bananas disappear every day while you're napping. Mrs. Flamingo said you've been a bit cranky from your one banana a day diet. But someone saw you with two bananas. Finally, Mr. Polar Bear said that you didn't say hello to him when you walked past him. The only way that would ever happen is if you were sound asleep. Oh, oh, oh. that is brilliant, Chloe. Thanks. But we all work together to figure it out. <laughs> For any problem, big or small, Chloe's squad is on the ball. Hooray, hooray for my favourite police officers. Hooray! hooray! Helping animals. Wow! An animal ambulance. Thank you, lovely carrot. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I'll just go and see if we have any patients waiting. Seatbelts on. I'll go and find some animals to help. Your first patient. Such a little mouse. I'm not sick. I just have an ouchie on my knee. Poor, poor mousie. There. All better. <laughs> this knee kind of hurts too. There. Um, this hurts too. And this. And here. There. There. Here. Here, 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 oh, oh, and here. <sighs> That's enough. There. Now you'll need some crutches. <laughs> here you go, little fella. <laughs> oh, really? They are a bit big. Let 
Let's try these on for size. That's better. Whee! <laughs> Quick! Mama Roo is hurt! Hop on, Mrs. Roo! Well then, I'll just take you to the exam room. I'll take your lovely carrot. She has a talking tummy. I'm not a talking tummy. I'm Joey Roo. It's lovely to meet you, Joey Roo. Now, just open wide and say, ah. But Ma didn't hurt her mouth. She hurt her toe. Ouchies. What happened? Joey and I were on our way to the park and I stumbled and stubbed my toe on the sidewalk curb. Don't worry, Mama Roo. I have just the thing for you. There. All better. Don't you think you should put one there as well? Just to be sure. And there. And there. And here. Crutches, Mama Roo, and you'll be as good as new in no time. But not in time to take me to the park today. My friend John is waiting there for us. I can take you to the park, Joey. Yes! Oh, Woohoo! We're here! Hooray! Oh, there's a big. A uh, huge ball on skates and it's a oh it's a, oh. it's a roller skating dinosaur. <laughs> Is that cool or what? But but, oh, but uh, dinosaurs can't roller skate. They can in my world. That's just my friend John. He's a great skater. And he has the biggest name in the whole world. What is it? John Jacob Jingle I'm a Schmidt. His name is my name too. Whenever we go out, the people I will shout. John Jacob Jingle I'm a Schmidt. Say, ah. 
This should be big enough. Oh, boy. A pink one. There. All better. May I have another one, please? Of course. Take all you want. <laughs> now for some crutches. You're a wonderful veterinarian, Chloe. I feel fantastic. Hooray! Hooray for Chloe! Come on, Vet Chloe. There's other animals out there that need your help. Goodbye. Thank you. My very first time on a farm. No worries, I know all about farms. These are horses. Ah! <laughs> They're just sleeping, lovely carrot. It must be really early, Chloe. Even the sun is still asleep. <sighs> I've never seen that before. You see lots of new things in my world. A cow, just like in my drawing. Let's go say hi. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them. Hello, cows. Lollipops, they're loud. Quiet, ladies. Quiet. Sorry about the noise, folks. Oh, a doggy. Like sprinkles. I'm Freddy, the farmer's dog. The cows are just upset because the farmer hasn't been in to milk them yet. Milk comes from cows? Yep. It's strange. The farmer is always up by now doing his chores. Poor, poor cow. Can we help? Well, the milking is usually done by a machine, but I suppose you could do it the old-fashioned way. I know how to milk a cow, Chloe. You put the bucket here, then pump the milk out. This cow must be empty. It's not a good Whoa. idea to grab a cow's tail, lovely carrot. Oh. Chloe has the right idea. I can do that. Hey! Stop that! <laughs> you might want to warm your hands before trying that again, Jet. I don't really like plain milk. I like it flavoured. Strawberry flavoured milk? Coming up! Mmm! Yummy! How about that? Pink milk! Stuff like this happens a lot in Chloe's world. Well, the farmer would surely love to see that. I wonder where he could be. Maybe he's doing another chore. After we finish here, we can help you look for him. You're very kind, Miss Chloe. Thanks again for your help. The milk tanker will be here soon to pick up the milk. Poor horses. They must be hungry. Whoa! Don't eat me, please! The farmer's supposed to bale the hay in the field for them today. With a tractor? Maybe that's where he is now. Is this what the farmer uses to bale the hay? Yep. I really thought we'd find him here. I have an idea. Why don't we bale the hay for him? Good idea! Let's do it! Off he goes to bale some hay. One and two and three. We'll collect the hay today. Four and five and six. There's seven bales now, eight hay bales now. Nine bales, ten bales, eleven big hay bales. We'll collect the hay today. Twelve big bales of hay. The horses say thank you, kids. They're used to being fed on time, so they were mighty hungry. <laughs> you know, farm animals love hay. <laughs> but I prefer toast and eggs. Speaking of eggs, the farmers should be in the chicken coop collecting eggs. Let's check it out. Lolly! 
lollipops. The chickens are making such a fuss. You stay here, Miss Chloe. I'll go in and calm them down. <laughs> Something's really ruffled their feathers. It's way past time to collect their eggs, and they do like things to be on time. Then let's go and collect them. Oh, purple chickens. That's impossible. Not in my world. I'll get the blue ones. You take the orange hens and I'll take the pink lovely carrot. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you might want to warm your hands again, Jet. Oh, yeah. Cool. Ooh. Pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <gasps> and twelve. <clears throat> That's an even dozen. Now all the farmer has to do is come and get him. Do you think he might still be sleeping? I doubt it. Every day he wakes up when the sun rises and the rooster crows. We saw the sun rise this morning, but we didn't hear a rooster crow. That's right. We didn't. <gasps> oh, oh, that could be why the farmer isn't up. Let's go talk to the rooster. <gasps> He's sleeping. No wonder the farmer's still asleep. Stand back, everyone. I'll wake him. Come on, Mr. Rooster. Time to get up. Wake up, Mr. Rooster. Thanks for trying, lovely carrot. I know. <sighs> this should do the trick. And the clock. 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 Sorry about that, little fella. <laughs> I'm in an awful hurry. I have a very important delivery to make, and I'm already late. Can we help, Mr. Farmer? How nice of you to offer. Uh, oops! <laughs> uh, maybe you could watch my garden for me while I'm gone. We'd love to. There's a flock of crows that keeps coming around to eat my vegetables. Don't worry. We'll keep them away. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'll be back in two shakes of a pig's tail. <laughs> I'll do the weeding. I'll water. And I'll keep the crows away. <laughs> Maybe you 
you should use the small watering can, lovely carrot. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like crows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. You can't eat here. Shoo, go away. Pickles, they're not moving. Shoo, birdie, shoo. You have to go now! Please! Oh! He took the coin from you? Right out of my hand! Stay right here, Miss Chloe. I'll take care of this. <gasps> you have to leave now, crows! Go on! I mean it. You have to leave. Oh. Shoo! Go away! Shoo! Shoo! Ah! Those crows are big! You're right. So we need a big scarecrow to scare them away. Oh, brilliant! These handlebars make perfect arms, Chloe. Now he needs a head. I found it! A head for our scarecrow! <sighs> oh! <laughs> 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 he looks amazing, Miss Chloe. Too bad he can't make noise. Like this? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Chloe, that scarecrow talked. Anything can happen in my world. Hello, Mr. Scarecrow. You're very scary. Thank you. He'll definitely keep the crows away. I shall do my best. There are no crows in the garden now, Chloe. Our scarecrow is working. Uh-oh! Here they come! It worked! He scared them away! I don't think so. Hey, Shoo! Stop it! Go away! Go! Go! Hey, Shoo! That wasn't very nice. Those crows must really love corn. Sorry, everyone. I tried to shoo them away, but there are seven of them and only one of me. Would three more scarecrows help? Three plus me makes four. That would make four scarecrows against seven crows. Yes. Let's try it. Try what? When the birds come back, we'll all wave our arms and yell. Here they come! Ready? One, two, three! They're gone. They're back! Oh dear. This isn't good. You crows are not behaving very nicely. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of you, and only one lovely carrot. Hmm. You're right. We're sorry. It's also not very nice of you to take the farmer's vegetables without asking. But we're hungry, and we love vegetables. That doesn't make it OK. You have to ask before you take something. The farmer works really hard to grow those vegetables. So what can we eat? Gosh, 
I don't know. My head is pretty empty, so I don't know a lot of things. <laughs> but I did see that the farmer left a pile of old vegetables behind the barn. I think he's throwing them away. Throwing them away? Why? Some of it has bruises or bumps on it. We don't mind bruises and bumps. Come on, then. I'll show you where it is, and you can eat all you want. One little, two little heads of cabbages, three little, four little stalks of celery, five little, six little piles of carrots, six, seven big ears of corn. Thank you so much, everyone. We promise to leave the rest of the garden alone from now on. And I promise to make sure you get something to eat here every day. Dale. Deal. Thank you so much for looking after my garden. You even scared those pesky crows away. You're welcome, Mr. Farmer. Now I hope this scarecrow can keep them away. Don't worry, he will. It wasn't so cold. <laughs> now you're a pretty mermaid too, lovely carrot. Come on, mermaids, let's see what's down below. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> Good job, lovely carrot. Thank you, Miss Chloe. Let's play tag. I'll be it. <laughs> She's coming. Swim. Can't catch me. <gasps> Look out! Oh, my. I'm terribly sorry if I've startled you. It's what we puffer fish do when we are alarmed. Lollipops, you were puffy and now you're not. That's amazing. <laughs> not really. If you want to meet some truly amazing fish, uh, come to the singing concert tonight at the Blue Lagoon. Fish can sing? Oh, yes. Most of us sing quite well. Yeah! Great! Not all fish sing the way I do, of course. Uh, take Miss Eel, for instance. Ah! Or the Seawolf Twins. <gasps> We have our own unique sound. Yeah! Lovely carrot. Huh, it wasn't me. <laughs> See, I told you it wasn't me. No, that's Olaf. What's an Olaf? Some kind of sea monster, no doubt. We'd better move along, mermaids. There are no sea monsters in my world. Let's go and say hello. Nothing to worry about. Olaf is just an octopus. Hi. Hello. Oh, boy. You've come to hear me sing. Are you Olaf? Careful, Miss Chloe. Olaf is an octopus. I'm so glad you came to visit my sunken ship. Huh? Oh, uh, hello. Whee! I love having visitors. Want to hear what I'm singing for the big concert tonight? Of course. <clears throat> 
Oh, I always scare the fish away when I sing. The only things that stay are the oyster shells. And that's just because they're empty. just need a little more practice. Would you like us to practice with you? Really? That'd be great. Thanks. Taking big, deep breaths is very important when you're singing. So let's practice. Deep breath in. <laughs> and out. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Your turn, Olaf. <gasps> hey, who turned the lights out? I'm a very good singer, Olaf, and a very good teacher. Just do what I do, and you'll be great. Okay. We love singing. Now you. Yes, we do. Join us now in singing. <laughs> oh no, I made them cry. I always make the baby fish cry. Ah, I give up. I'm never going to be a good singer. True, but you're good at so many other things. And nobody else can squirt ink as well as you can. <laughs> Thanks. But I really wanted to be in the concert tonight. I just can't make music the way the other sea creatures do. You may not be able to sing like the other sea creatures, Olaf, but you're making music right now. I am? When you drum on the cannon like that, that's music. Yes, that's right. It is. So you think I can play my cannon at the concert tonight? Yes! Hooray! Hooray for drumming! <laughs> OK, everyone. Ready, set, push! Pickle drum! Oh, uh, crab cakes. The cannon is too heavy to move. I guess I won't be in the concert after all. Don't worry, we'll find some new things for you to drum. Chloe, you don't know what it might do. <laughs> I love green. Blue, my favourite colour. Hooray! Well done, Chloe. Well done indeed. Who said that? Where are you? Whoa! How did he do that? Anything can happen in my world. Welcome to Wiz Academy. We're going to wizard school. Correct. And it's already time for your first class. Right up there. How do we get up there? I oh, know, I oh, know. If I run. Up, up. Whoa! Pickles! He's going straight up. Ah, yes. I suppose I'd better bring him back down. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Are you okay, Riley? Whoa! That was fast! Yes, but you might want to wait for the instructions before taking off next time.
We'll be taking my broomstick to the tower. All aboard! Um, Professor, before we go, would you mind making me yellow again? Oh, thank you. Up, up, up! Graduate as official wizards. You must each earn three stars. A star is earned by successfully completing a class. Your first class is cooking with magic. When using magic, you must ask for exactly what you want. For example, a la a bow danza, a pizza if you please, a small pepperoni with lots of extra cheese. Mmm, yummy! Chloe. You may go first. Anna Abba Baker, a chocolate cake that's tall, with yummy yellow icing, enough to feed us all. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. Excellent job. Here's your first star. Thank you, Professor Wizard. You're welcome, Chloe. Your turn, Jet. A la yippee yeehaw, a cowboy meal I'll fix. A hot dog and sweet corn and marshmallows on sticks. <laughs> oh no, I'm out of hands. Huh? Got it. Very good, Jeff. Only next time you might remember that you only have two hands and not three. Yes, Professor Wizard. Now you, Riley. I'm going to do something really fun with eggs. Remember what I said, Riley. Ask for exactly what you... I love other fun. Some eggs, more than one. Oh, no. Whoa! Yikes! Yeah. You really should learn to listen before you begin. Do I get a star? I'm afraid not. Maybe next class. Our next class is changing things. Where you will learn to change one thing into another thing. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing to remember in this class is to take your time. Think before you act. Listen closely to instructions. Take your time, take your time. Don't be in a hurry, don't be in a hurry. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Excellent work, all of you. Hooray, I have a star. And? you have a chance to turn that one star into three stars. I do? Brilliant! Ahem. I wasn't finished, Riley. You have a chance to earn two more stars in the next class. Oh, sorry. Our last class is flying class. Hooray! In this class, you may earn two stars. One for keeping your broomstick in the air and one for completing the course. Where are our broomsticks, Professor? I think I know. Very good, Riley. You will receive directions all along the course. Listen carefully. Ah. Ah. On your marks, get set, go! Oops! There's a bird crossing ahead. Fly low to the ground so you don't run into them. Whoa! What's going on up there? Shoo! Go on! Shoo! There are a lot of birds up there. We know! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Is there more? 
Go slowly. The turns are sharp. Thanks! <laughs> Whoa! Everyone, stop! What do we do next? Next comes the most important part of your broomstick training. Listen closely, everyone. From here to the finish line, have fun! Hooray! <laughs> Whee! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Look! The finish line! Whee! Brilliant job, everyone. Congratulations, Chloe. You are now an official wizard. And congratulations to you too, Wizard Jet. And to you too, Wizard Riley. Really? Planet. It has three sides. Extra strong seat belts, everyone. What about Hu Shi Hu? Hootie Who didn't even bump his head once. Ooh, ooh. 
This is fun. Let's explore. Ouch. Are you okay, Jack? I bumped my head. <laughs> Someone wasn't watching where he was going. Silly Cliff, and I was watching where I was going. I just couldn't see because it's so dark here. Hmm. The stars are not very shiny shiny. Something must be wrong. Let's go and see if we can help. Twinkle, twinkle. can't see it night and he bumps his head. Hoo hoo! Let's clean them! Dusting, dusting every star Some are near and some are far Some are the big, some like a dot Some are clean and some are not Dusting, dusting every star Let us see how What are these things? They're castanets, lovely carrots. Flamenco dancers use them sometimes to keep the beat. Olé! <laughs> Olé! 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 Hey! You stepped on my foot, Lil. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Woohoo! Aye aye! <laughs> Que bueno! Your dancing is excelente! Flamingos! Flamenco flamingos! Are you all dancers? I'm just learning. Today is going to be my very first performance. I'm so excited! Where are you going to dance? We're trying out for a TV show. Have you got talent? And we better hurry, or we'll miss our chance. You girls should try out too. Oh, a talent show. We should try out. It would be fun. I don't know. Yeah! <gasps> that sounded like a flamingo. Excuse us. May we pass, please? <laughs> Is everyone trying out for the talent show? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Chloe. I'll find the flamingos and make sure they're okay. Thank you, lovely carrot. 
You're welcome, Miss Chloe. <laughs> hmm, I don't see. Oh! <laughs> yeah, well, uh, of course. End of the line. Bye bye. <laughs> Silly me. I tripped and hurt my ankle. Now we can't try out for the show. Poor Flora. It's okay. I'll just wait for another time to do my first performance. Pickles! That's too bad. Unless... Perhaps you girls could dance with Flora instead. Oh! Could you? Would you? Please will you dance the flamenco with me? Of course! Hooray! But we don't really know how to dance the flamenco. That's okay. I'll teach you. Maravilloso! Good luck, Thank everyone! Thank you! Adios! <sighs> Lovely carrot! We're trying out for the show with Flora! Brilliant! When are they going to open the doors and start signing people up? It looks like they're opening the doors now! <laughs> we did it! We signed up to audition for the show! Olé, olé! Now let's learn the dance! Is everyone ready for their first lesson? Yes! Yay! Okay. Brilliant! We're going to use special water spouts in this area to help us with our footwork. Water spouts? I don't see any. <laughs> 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 Lovely carrot. Stomp on the spouts. Quack. Try it, everyone. Like this. Olay! Olay! Whoa! Uh, ay, ay, ay! Good job! Keep it up! Whoa, whoa. Oops! Don't worry, Lil. I fell down a lot when I was first learning, too. Just keep going. <laughs> now that you've got your feet moving, <laughs> it's time to add the hands. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Now you try it. Put it all together. It's okay. I'm going to just watch. What's wrong, Lil? Are you going to quit? I'm just not good at this. You three should do the dance without me. Oh, please don't quit. We really want you to dance with us. Just try. You can't get better unless you try. We'll help you. Just keep the beat in your head as you move your feet and your body. Clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp. Let's all try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're ready for our audition now. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> I'm good. No, actually, you're rather bad. Next. <gasps> Prepare yourself for the most amazing, most unusual act you have ever seen. I can hardly wait. <laughs> ah! And that's not all. Next. The Flamenco Flamingos. Okay, ladies, hit it. Clap, clap, stomp, 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 clap, stomp,
clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, dance the flamenco dance. Clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, dance the flamenco dance. Clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, dance the flamenco dance. Dance the flamingo, flamenco dance now. Yes, you have talent. Oh, thank you. Thank you all for making my very first performance so very, very special. Yeah. Cool. I think we're at the North Pole. Or we could be at the South Pole. We're definitely at a cold pole. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh, that hurts. What was that? Penguins! That means we're at the South Pole, lovely carriage. There are no penguins at the North Pole. The South Pole is Jet's favourite place. He knows all about it. Kick off! Uh, ouch! I got it! We're so sorry, aren't we, Billy? We certainly are, Ben. Oh, no worries, I'm okay. Poor, poor penguins. You've hurt your feet. Ah, yes. You see, our Uncle Bob sent us a new soccer ball, but it hurts when you kick it, eh? soccer ball. It's a hockey puck. Well, that explains it, doesn't it, Billy? Eh? Yeah, Ben. Ice hockey is a great game. Watch. Pass it, Jack. I'll ten go. Lovely carrot. Wanna play? We'd love to. There's just one problem. We don't have any hockey sticks. That is a problem. But we could just make you some sticks. Brilliant idea, Chloe. We'll make two wooden sticks just like yours. Let's go and find some trees. Uh, what's wrong? We're at the South Pole, lovely carrot. There aren't any trees here. Back to playing soccer then, Billy. Eh? You got it, Ben. Ouch! Ow, ow, ouch! Ouch! You can't play soccer with the puck. But we have no trees to make sticks out of. Then we'll have to find something different to make them out of. Brilliant! Let's start looking. At the double quick. March! Eh? A cave! Maybe there's something in there we can use for the stick. Good thinking, Chloe. About turn. Quick, march. <sighs> Do you think there could be a polar bear in that cave? Nope. Polar bears don't live in the South Pole, lovely carrot. They only live in the North Pole. Whoa! Is this polar? What? This icicle is just the right size for a hockey stick. <laughs> 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 We'll do it. in the South Pole Jet? Uh, well, yes, I'm sure. Then what is that? Everyone, we're supposed to be 
looking for hockey sticks. Hockey sticks? Well, now, couldn't you just use these icicles? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's a bit big for a little fella like you. Excuse me, Mr. Polar Bear, but I thought polar bears only lived in the North Pole. We do. I'm just here on vacation. Flew in on a plane this morning. <laughs> they let polar bears on airplanes? They do in my world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 My stick seems a little bit short now, doesn't it, Billy? Yes, it does, Ben. And now mine seems just right. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think your hockey sticks are melting in the sun. That's a problem. We need to find new sticks, Ben. Yes, we do, Billy. At the double, quick march! Here it is. This is where our Grandma Biddy lives. She has lots of great old things in the shed behind her igloo. And she says we can use whatever we want to use. Look at all this cool stuff. Oh, we're sure to find something that will work. Like these, Ben. <gasps> Umbrellas! They even have a hook at the end, just like a real hockey stick. It's a bit short for me. But it's perfect for me. Uh, how about these? Oh! Whoa! Excellent idea, lovely carrot. Just the right size, don't you think, Billy? It's a bit too long for me. Uh, and it is terribly springy. <laughs> What a tangled mess. Ah, well, it's back to playing soccer, I suppose, Billy. Yeah, Ben. My feet hurt just thinking about it. Wait! Maybe these will work. Boat paddles! This tall paddle is perfect for me. And this short one is perfect for me. Only trouble is, they don't have a curve at the end, like real sticks. We could attach an umbrella to each paddle. Then, wrap wire from the fishing rod around it to make sure the umbrella doesn't open. Brilliant, Chloe. That solves all the problems. I believe that could work, Billy. I believe that you are right, Ben. Yay! Yay! Such fun! Hold your stick and skate fast! Hold your stick and skate fast! Score a goal! Score a goal! Goal! How do I look, lovely carrot? Here. This will help you see better. Wow! I didn't know you knew how to do magic, Miss Chloe. I do in my world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Chloe Magic Show is about to begin. I can't wait to see the show. I hear this magician is fabulous. Oh, uh, I've seen these tricks a million times. So why did you come? I like magic. And now... The amazing Chloe and her magical assistant, Lappy Rabbit. The show is starting. You better hurry and get out there, magician Chloe. <gasps> Chloe? <gasps> oh. Oh. What? Thank you. And now meet my helpful assistant, Lappy Rabbit. One. Two, three, four, Lappy! <gasps> One, two, three, four, Lappy! <laughs> Something's wrong! <laughs> Poor Miss Chloe! What should I do? I have to do something! What should I do? What should I do? <laughs> Lappy! Are you in there? <laughs> I think I need a new assistant. 
One, two, three, four, presto! <laughs> what should I do? What should I... ta -da! This is my new lovely assistant, Lovely Carrot. One, two, three, four, presto! <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, my brave assistant will climb into the cabinet of mystery. What? Don't worry, lovely carrot. <laughs> I'm a very good magician. Hmm. Perfect. Now I will close the cabinet. Abracadabra! About a million times. One, two, three, four, presto! <laughs> and now my assistant, lovely carrot, will make the balloons reappear. One, two, three, four. Presto! Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh dear! Bees, beagle! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> now that's a trick I've never seen before. <laughs> Please pick a card, Assistant Lovely Carrot. Look at it. Now, put it back in the pack. <gasps> Hi! He took the card! That rabbit took the card! I will now find your card. One, two, three, four, card, appear! Oh. <gasps> Thank you! <laughs> this is Lovely Carrot's card. And this is Lappy Rabbit. Hooray! Yay! All right! All right! All right! Hold on, Mr Rabbit. We want to talk to you. That was a good show, Mr Lappy. It was. Very good. Yes, it was. But you were late. I know. And I think you did some things that you weren't supposed to do. I did. Why? I just didn't want to do the same old stuff that I always do. I guess I'm a bit tired of being a magician's assistant. Then why don't you try something new? Like what? Why don't you try being the magician instead? Really? really? Of course. For tonight's show, you be the magician and I'll be your assistant. Woohoo! I'm going to be a magician. When you're feeling kind of bored, try something new. Look around, there's always something you can do. Try a trick you've never tried. Read a book or go outside. When you're feeling kind of bored, try something new, something new. And now, presenting Lappy Rabbit and his lovely assistant, Chloe! I'm Lappy the Magnificent. And this is my lovely assistant, Miss Chloe.
Avengers live? Where's the door? It's up here! Let's see if anyone is home. <laughs> I wonder what all these levers and buttons do. Careful, Jack. You don't know. Thank you, Miss Chloe. You're welcome, lovely carrot. Ooh! Look at this very, very big ball pit. I'm going inside. They're not balls, they're balloons. I found a pretty purple one. <laughs> What's so funny? Your hair! It looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wiz. Where is he? There he is. How is he doing that? Anything can happen in my world. <laughs> that may be true, young lady. But in this case, your little metal friend is sticking to the ceiling because of a magnet. <laughs> Are you an inventor? Inventor? <laughs> I am the world's greatest inventor! Can you invent something so we can walk on the ceiling like Wiz? Already have! Just put on those metal boots! Yes! Was it brilliant? It yes. was! I think so. I think not. And I need to invent something brilliant for the next toy invention convention. What's an invention convention? Well, it's where a bunch of inventors get together to show their latest toy inventions. Maybe we can help. Maybe you can. We could invent something cool with this. Or with this. <laughs> Too dangerous! <laughs> What's this? Ah, that is one of the toys I may take to the convention. It's a cloak of invisibility. Ooh! I don't see anything. Of course not. It's invisible! I am! One problem, though. If I want to be totally invisible, I have to put the cloak over my face. <gasps> it works! Yes, but now I can't see where I'm going. 
Ah! Sorry, lovely carrot. Didn't know you were there. So, you see the problem with that toy? How about this toy? That's just a plain old scooter. Actually, it's a flying scooter. Try it, Chloe. It still has a few kinks. Whee! Ha! Ooh, hang on, Chloe! Yikes! Look out! Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, sorry, guys! Pickles! I think it's out of petrol! Jump, Chloe! Whee! As you can see, it needs a little work. Maybe you should try inventing a simple toy, Mr. Inventor. That's silly, Chloe. Simple toys aren't fun. I think they are. Like this stick. What can you do with a stick? Well, you can hold it in front of you and pretend you're leading a band. It's a pony and ride on top of it. <laughs> Brilliant! What else? It could be a guitar. Or a baseball bat. <laughs> Giggling gaggles of geese! That's the best toy I've ever seen! Stupendous! Brilliant! How did you ever get it to work so well? We just pretended. Genius! I shall call this toy Chloe's Incredible Pretending Toy! Hundreds of games in one little stick! Just add imagination! It'll be the hit of the invention convention! This Calls for a celebration! Woo! <laughs> Woo Do you have an extra car that I can use, Chloe? Of course! But I don't have one with batteries. That's okay. I can make the car go all by myself. It'll be my incredible pretending car. Rum, 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 rum. Hi, kids. Mummy, we had the best day today. We met an inventor, we walked on the ceiling with magnets, and we saw a flying scooter. A flying scooter? We sure did. It was amazing. I know another place where we can see some amazing inventions. The, the Children's Science Museum. Museum. Right. Who wants to go? Me! Me! What do we do? What do? <laughs> Some toys need batteries to make them work, Lovely Carrot. But all you need is lots of love. 